Richardson and Holyfield. This is the Lakers versus awful coaching. Let's put these two head to head, and see who comes out on top. All right, so there are obviously a ton of categories we can talk about when you put these two titans head to head. Uh, these are arguably two of the best phones out on the market right now. I picked a few that I thought were best representative of the device and everyday usage. So we are going to talk about screen, camera, performance, skins, navigation, build quality, features, battery, and we are going to declare a winner. Let's go ahead and start out with that thing you look at every day. That's a screen. All right, so we're looking at a 4.7 inch screen here on the HTC One and a five inch screen on the Galaxy S4. They both have the same resolution though at 1920 by 1080, which gives them 1080p screens. Uh, there's a bit of a higher PPI because of smaller size on the HTC One. It's 469 on the One versus 441 on the S4. So people can talk a lot about Pentile Matrix, how the pixels are laid out. If you take a magnifying glass to the screen or zoom up nice and close. At the end of the day though, I'm just looking at the screens with normal human eyes. And in all honesty, both these screens are freaking gorgeous. Uh, they both have awesome viewing angles. They're readable in direct sunlight. Games look absolutely beautiful on them. The colors totally pop. Photos look pretty gorgeous on them as well. Text looks awesome. Everything about these screens is absolutely beautiful. Uh, the S4 has got Gorilla Glass 3 on it. Uh, the S4 also gives you a bit of a warmer screen, uh, a little bit more saturated. The one, though, has a bit more accurate color, so it's going to come down to what you prefer on both of those. For me, though, I could not pick a winner when it came to screen. Both these guys were absolutely awesome. Looking at them with just normal people eyes, the screens are absolutely gorgeous on each. I could not, under good conscience, pick a winner. This one is a draw. So next, let's talk about camera. We'll turn these phones over on their butts, and there is a lot to talk about uh, with these two devices. So there is a four ultra pixel camera here on the HTC One. Essentially, it's four megapixel sensors stacked on top of each other. Uh, it is a 13 megapixel sensor on the Galaxy S4. The S4 has way more software options than the HTC One. Uh, if those are important to you, then definitely go with the S4. You get things like best face, you get some awesome nature views, you can get uh, best picture quality, you can get motion capture. There's a ton of stuff you can do with the Galaxy S4 from a software standpoint. It has way more than the HTC One. Uh, the S4 also had better audio quality when shooting video. Uh, so if you do a lot of video and the audio fidelity is important without an external mic, the S4 is going to be the way to go. However, though, where it mattered to me, the HTC One really shined. Uh, it was quicker to focus. It was markedly better in low light, had quicker shutter speed, and a more accurate color representation. Uh, we did posts showing head-to-head -head, uh, photo quality, what it looked like with the One and the S4, uh, and I really found myself enjoying the One. So when I did this, I asked the question, if I was going to go out and shoot some pictures and I was going to take one device with me to use as a camera, which one would it be? And nine times out of ten, I picked the One to go with me. So the caveat there, though, if you need those software features that the S4 has, and the S4 is going to be a great option here. Uh, you're talking about two incredible devices with great cameras on it, but if I want one to take in sort of every instance and picture quality is most important on picking up the HTC One. So that is the winner of the camera round. All right, so let's go from camera to performance. And these guys are absolute powerhouses. So we've got a 1.9 gigahertz quad core chip on the S4. I am testing the US carry version. There's an octa-core version as well. It takes advantage of two separate quad core chips. Uh, this test is representative of the one that just got one quad core 1.9 gigahertz chip in it uh, versus a 1.7 quad core on the HTC One. Uh, so we can run quadrant scores on each. Um, definitely they vary each time you test. The quadrant score is about 12,256 on the One and 11,349 on the S4, but different times you test it, it got up to be the mid-12. So those are really don't tell you that much. They're both pretty awesome scores uh, from two very impressive phones. So the mortal here, everything is extremely fast. I can open up applications for you at the same time. You can see how that works, uh, but things open quickly. Games load fast. There's no lag at all. I don't have to worry about opening up a ton of applications on each. From a performance standpoint, these guys are both blistering fast, and I could not declare a winner. One thing I will say, though, is incredible to see is the boot up time on the HTC One. It takes advantage of some quick boot stuff uh, where it boots up I mean, in almost six seconds. It is absolutely incredible uh, to see. When it comes to performance, though, there is no clear winner here. These are both really, really fast phones. It doesn't matter to me if one opens one one hundredth of a second faster or not. I want a phone that's going to open things quickly and it's going to perform up to everything that I throw at it and both these phones do that pretty awesomely. All right, so next let's talk about skins, and I guess you can't really call them skins anymore. Essentially, they're totally redone versions of Android, but just for the sake of calling them something, let's call them skins. We've got TouchWiz on the S4, and we got Sense5 here on the HTC One. Which one is better? Well, they're both based off of different versions of Android. Galaxy S4 has the latest version of 4.2.2, where the HTC One is currently based off of 4.1.2. Uh, one of the cool features of Android 4.2 is the Photosphere option, which for the life of me, I cannot find uh, on the Galaxy S4. So 
keep that in mind. So this one is really, really tough for me to pick. Uh, when it comes to HTC Sense, this is the first version of Sense that really gets out of its own way. It doesn't, Sense used to be really resource heavy. This very well might still be, but you don't notice it when using the phone. I really enjoy the widgets. HTC's built-in uh, email application is incredibly awesome. Uh, usually I had to download a third-party email application, something like K9Mail. I found myself actually using uh, the built-in one here in Sense. So another thing HTC's been touting is Blink Feed, sort of a Flipboard-esque way of viewing information. I didn't find myself using it all that much. I would have liked to have the option of turning it off. Instead, I had to move it a few screens over. So if you like that information sort of coming at you directly, Blink Feed's gonna be a great way to go. And I really like the way the settings was laid out on the HTC One. There's something about using it that felt very intuitive and really quick to me. So Touches, on the other hand, brings a ton of new features. AirPlay and AirView sort of are the two flagships on the S4. Uh, there's cool things like S Translate. There's a ton of camera options built in. So TouchWiz has the same bright, bold icons we've seen before. Now, obviously, you can go through, you can download third-party launchers, you can download different applications, uh, but I want to talk about these devices as they are, as they come out of the box. So this one really comes down to the personal preference category. TouchWiz brings a ton of features that I didn't really find myself using all that often. So I did this test. I want to figure out which one I would pick up to use. And that one I pick up to use based on skins alone with the HTC One, but this one was really, really close. I can certainly see why a lot of people would prefer uh, the S4 versus the HTC One, but for me, simplicity is what I prefer. So the winner is the HTC One. All right, so next let's talk about navigation, how it is to move around the phone, how the buttons perform, something that was really important to me when using uh, the HTC One. So I really liked the clean, easy to use layout of the Galaxy S4. It takes advantage of the typical standard Android option. You've got one physical button in the middle, flanked by a back and a home button. I really enjoyed the way that worked. It made sense if you wanted to get to multitasking. It made sense if you want to pull up a menu and go back. It was very intuitive and really familiar. The HTC One, however, took a bit of a weird approach. They put a giant HTC logo in the middle of the phone where a home button traditionally is, and they flanked it on the left and the right by a back button, the home button. And it felt very weird for me to have a home button on the right-hand side of the phone. And it definitely took a lot of getting used to. And after using a device for now the better part of a month, I'm still not used to it. And that also means you have to double tap the home button to get to multitasking, which I really didn't enjoy. When it came down to actually how to use the phone, um, this one definitely goes to Galaxy S4. I like the feel of the physical button. I like the fact that there are three buttons on it, and I kept trying to push that HTC logo, thinking it was going to do something. That one absolutely goes to the Galaxy S4. All right, so next, you knew it was coming. Let's talk about build quality. This one has been talked about quite a bit when comparing the HTC One versus the Galaxy S4. So let's start with the Galaxy S4. It takes advantage of Samsung's tried and true polycarbonate plastic build. Uh, the Galaxy S4 brings a few new things that its predecessor, the S3, didn't. Uh, you've got some metal-esque accents along the side. They're still plastic, but they have to make the phone feel uh, much more secure in the hand and feel a little bit of premium quality. Now, speaking of premium quality, certainly there's no doubt there are premium parts in the Galaxy S4. The screen, the processor, two gigs of RAM, the camera. So despite having all those premium parts, when you put them all together, the phone doesn't have that premium feel uh, that perhaps the HTC One and device like the iPhone 5 might. So a few reasons for that. First, this plastic back. No way about it is this a premium build quality too. Now, certainly our trade-offs, we're going to talk about those a bit later, uh, but a thin plastic back doesn't scream premium to me. Now, I understand why Samsung did it, and certainly they've sold millions of Galaxy S3s and Note 2s, so there's no reason to change what works. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But bear that in mind. If you want a device that's going to feel really substantial in hand, that's got that sort of cold, aluminum-esque feel, Galaxy S4 is not going to be the way to go. Now, that's not to say the phone feels cheap in the hand, because it's far from that. When you're comparing it to how the phone feels build-wise, a so device like the HTC One, they are absolutely worlds apart. HTC One takes advantage of a unibody design, uses full aluminum. I just, I like the way the phone feels. I like the way I pick it up in the morning, it's got that cold metal feel to the back. It feels heavy and secure in the hand. I feel like I'm using a premium quality. That's just an intangible thing. I think the HTC One absolutely has in spades. So it comes to build quality, this one is an out of the park, no doubt winner, HTC One. So before everybody gets too upset about declaring the one, the victor when it comes to build quality, let's talk about features. And the feature standpoint is something where the Galaxy S4 really stands out. First, expandability. Being able to remove that back, pop in a new battery, is great for some. For me, it's not something I use all that often. Generally, I'll carry an external, you know, large battery pack and I can just plug it in via cord, but I get why people would want that. And if you're the kind of person that wants to carry an extra battery that you can just pop in here, then the Galaxy S4 is an awesome way to go. Another thing it has, the HTC One does not, is expandable storage. Micro SD is a must for root users. If you want to bring your pictures or videos with you, uh, it's something that's really handy to have, especially you don't have to worry about storage. You can hot swap them in or out or keep bringing new cards or just bigger cards. Uh, so really, HTC One cannot compete with that at all. Uh, if you don't mind the plastic back, or if you're the kind of person that really wants to have uh, removable storage, removable battery, then the S4 is going to be a great way to go. Uh, the HTC One, though, has some features as well. Uh, boom sound, for me, is absolutely tremendous. It takes advantage of the speakers on the top and bottom that, I can't believe this wasn't really done mainstream before, have the speakers face you, and they do an incredible job. Uh, there's some custom amplifiers in there. It takes advantage of some Beats technology, but the quality is better than anything I have ever seen on a cell phone.
Uh, the S4 brings a ton of other features, air view, uh, and a lot of other camera stuff in there. But when it comes down to pure features to features, uh, the Galaxy S4 has got the HTC One beaten spades. All right, so another question that I got all the time is battery. Which one is better? This one, I can't clear a winner because the version that we are testing here in the US is on Sprint with support for LTE, and we don't have LTE where we're at. Uh, I will say, though, with the same testing on each, I had about 10% better battery life on the S4 than I did on the One, but the One is connected to AT&T's LTE all the time. So I'm going to say that 10% was probably due to uh, the LTE network. Though I will say, once I get a AT&T LTE uh, Galaxy S4 to test, I'll update this, but for right now, I cannot declare a winner for battery. All right, so let's pick a winner here, and this one is quite tough. It's like saying, what do you like better, Mercedes or BMW, Lamborghini or Ferrari? They are all awesome, but we have to declare winners since this is a smartphone smackdown, and for me, the winner is the HTC One. The big question I asked myself, if I was going to sign a new two-year contract, which phone would I want? And that one for me was the HTC One. And the big difference, and the reason I picked it, was the build quality. That one really stood out head over heels uh, over the Galaxy S4. Now, that being said, if you need expandable storage, you need battery, you're the kind of person that wants those extra software features that you can get in the camera, Galaxy S4 is going to be an incredible phone. I haven't seen two phones this tight and this competitive really ever before. Uh, they are six and one half dozen of another. They are both incredible choices that you can't go wrong with either. Hope you guys enjoyed. I love to hear your comments. Keep them civil, keep them lively. Uh, what do you guys think? Please give the video a thumbs up. We'd most definitely appreciate it. I am John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you guys in the next video.